<laughs> I, I turned on this camera, saw my face, and I'm looking like a bum. But I have to make this video because I'm getting a lot of uh, questions about it. So what's going on, everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott. And as you can see by the title below, we're going to talk about ultimatums. I will never give you an ultimatum, LV. Get out of here. Now, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Click the red button below. I love you forever. And get um, if you want to get a session with yours truly or check out my course, Attraction Academy, links are down in the description. It's going to go. Come on. Get out of here. Okay, ultimatum's gone. You're out. Go. Um, so here's the thing, ladies. A lot of you will come to me and you will say, well, my guy says he doesn't want to date a girl or it's a red flag to date a girl who is going, who's giving him an ultimatum, who's pressuring him. And a lot of you will come and say, well, you know, I, 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 I want to, I want to bring it up, but I don't know how I don't want, I, I don't want to pressure him. I, I don't want to put that pressure on the guy because it's going to, he's going to run away. And here's the thing, ladies, at eight dates, right, or eight weeks, I don't care, whatever comes first, at eight dates, if he did not say anything, you have to. You have to say something because he's not going to. And let me tell you why I know this for a fact. Number one, he's probably taking you for granted by this point. If you're eight dates in and he's not asking you out, um, then he, he's not afraid of losing you. And I know that's not a healthy way to look at it, but you have to understand this. That, you know, when you want something of value, and, it, and it's scarce, not saying you need to be scarce in terms of like playing hard to get. It's just there's only one of you, okay? And I truly want this thing. I, I, I risk the chance of losing it by keeping you on the dating market, by keeping you out there talking to a bunch of dudes and things like that. I run the chance of losing you. However, guys get very complacent and or very comfortable in the fact that they know you're not the same way that we are. We will talk to a bunch of women. Not all guys, but you know, most of the guys on Tinder and all that, they'll talk to a bunch of women and things like that. And they know you're loyal and that you're wanting a relationship and that you're not just going to walk away from eight dates or eight weeks, that you're hoping something will come out of this. And he's... I would say sometimes it's conscious or con or consciously it's subconsciously they take advantage of the situation. You know, she's not going anywhere. I'm already hitting that shit. I'm talking to this cute Sally girl online like, uh, let's see what happens, right? That kind of shit happens. He doesn't fear losing you. Not that you should create the fear, not that you should be the B word, not that you I'm, I'm watching my cousin see. Not that you should be an an a-hole, not that none of that stuff, not that you should be hot and cold, not that you should be playing hard to get. You should just be a woman of value who's using logic. Hey, you know what? I like you. You like me. We This is our eighth date. Things seem to be going well. We seem to be getting along um, just fine. I, I told you earlier on that I'm looking, you saw by my profile, How, what, however you want to say it. Just bring up the relationship talk. And if he's on the same page, great you guys will transition into a relationship. If he's on a different page, say, hey, you know what? I understand. You were, we're on different pages. No harm done. Just wish you would have said something, but whatever. And then you guys just go your... That's not what I want, though, sorry. And you go your separate ways. You know, of course, don't say it so wordy. Just say something. Because if you don't... Or sorry, if he doesn't, you have to. Well, actually, yeah. And if you don't, he especially won't. If he has not said it within eight weeks, he is trying to have his cake and eat it too. Whether that's on purpose, whether that's with a malicious intent or not, um, I always, I don't think it's always malicious. Some guys just like talking to you and wanting to see where it goes while talking to someone else and then he gets bit, you know, whatever. But at the same time, I tell women, whatever happens to you, happens to you for two reasons. He thinks he can get away with it and because you let him, Okay. It's as simple as that. So at eight dates, don't think of it as pressuring him. Don't let him gaslight and turn it around and say, uh, uh, I, you know, I, I don't, I'm not going to date a girl who, who pressures me and, and gives me an ultimatum. It's like, dude, I gave you eight weeks. I gave you eight dates. How many more do you want? You know, 
Um, and if he talks about being unsure or being emotionally available, it's like, dude, you need to check that shit out the door. That shit you need to get ready. That or that's, that you need to get off your chest. You need to tell your therapist, uh, Susan, your therapist, whatever, to uh, or Steve, whatever, that you need to get that shit off your chest before you get on the dating market, dude. Like, no girl wants to to date some dude who who's unsure about being in a relationship. It's just wasting someone's time. So with that being said, ladies, I love you all. Take care and peace.